So, uh, John. Yes? You thought it was all right? Yes, it was very good, but I'm not going to change my opinion. I still think he's coming to Exeter because he's old. So why is he going to Los Angeles, then? Well, because, because, because... Look, Los Angeles, I would expect him to be in, because he probably lives in America more than he lives over here. But why would he come to a small town like this? Yeah, London, so London, I would expect him to oh, be in. He probably will go to London as well. But uh, why would he want to come to Devon? I mean, what, why? Oh, but I don't. Um, I think okay. I mean, some of our local radio is a bit shambolic. Devon is a, again, Devon is a rubbish place for no, artists no, like what? artists no. like Elton no. John to come no. to. So no. I wouldn't recommend any big oh, artists <laughs> to come to come here. That's my opinion, and I'm oh. not changing it. Oh, yeah. well, I think. You, I, uh, I, th- I think I think you've got a bit bit off topic, John. Or a bit off off message. No, I don't no, think I have. I think no. I think artists could come here and experiment. Perhaps but, he could. But, but, perhaps he could come to the Phoenix with Leon Russell. But why would they because, want to? Well, because it's they they're not going to get a very big audience. Exactly. Are they with with Leon Russell and a few piano tunes? So they could come to the Phoenix. <laughs> yeah, so could so he. I think I think Exeter and Devon are for experiments, really. They they would probably have to pay so much for his security that that they that that he probably that he probably doesn't think it's worth his money coming here anyway. Well, John, your refreshing opinions are very very welcome, of course. But I'm not. I, I think we. You're not going to keep your job on a local commercial station, are you? No. You established that last week. Yes. And, because and we're trying to build up the place. Can I have my opinion? Or are you just going to have my opinion on commercial radio? Commercial radio is is far, far too re- regimented. I couldn't be bothered with commercial radio. I like to say my opinions are my facts, and what I say, what I say is I think is correct, so people don't like my opinions. They, uh, they don't have to like my opinions, but the fact is I like to shoot out um, verbal messages and whether, uh, you know, I don't, to be honest with you, I don't really, I, I, see, I don't really, you know, I, I don't really care whether they, whether they offend some people or not. But that, it's just, it's just about, in my opinion, about what I want to say. So, so what I want to say is about artists like Elton John, and so it's a bit like Will. But I think if he does bother to come here, we should welcome him. Yeah, all right, we'll welcome him with a, we'll welcome him with open, open arms. But you're missing the, you're missing my point. All right then, if Elton John can come here, why can't One Direction? Um. Well, because they're young and silly, aren't they? Exactly! They don't, they just, don't, they don't appreciate Devin's yeah, final points. You've just answered my question alone. Why Why is Elton John coming here? Because he's near the end of his career. No, I don't think so. All right, so. you explain why Elton John's coming here. Well, I mean, he's got several choices, hasn't he? I mean, he could do a month in Las Vegas and then go to Paris and then do another month in Las Vegas and then go somewhere else, Cologne possibly, and then he could either do another month in Las Vegas or come to Exeter and a few other places like that. But you're, so, you're, eventually, he, you're, out of the goodness of his heart... But you're not answering my question. Why does he want to come to Exeter? Because Exeter's wonderful, John. We've got a discerning musical audience. Right. Uh, we've got lots of local social media that amplify any, so, any um, trend going on. So, Heart FM, if you're listening, the famous commercial station... Other I, stations uh, are available. Carry on. If you're going to, if Elton John is going to come to this lovely city known as, or this lovely town known as Exeter, I wonder if who's going to have the pleasure of interviewing the guy. It certainly won't be us. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, um, no, you never um, know, John. Well, you never know. well, no, but he may think yeah, that you ought to have better information than you have at the moment. If, I, if I was going to interview Elton John, I would expect a thousand pounds in my pocket. Um, I wouldn't do it for free. Uh, mm. No, I wouldn't. Um, oh, well. I, and I, to be honest with you, I, I think I'm turning into Piers Morgan. I would ask some very controversial questions about his life, and and <laughs> and, um, and, oh, well. and 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 uh, and I wouldn't really care if I upset if I upset him or not. Oh. You see, I'm not. I'm not the. Mo- you see, the thing you've got to know about me, I'm not. I'm not the most popular guy that you'll ever come across. I. 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 I, I you see, my my philosophy in life is, I like to. I like to tell the truth, and I like to ask people very, very blunt questions, including Will. I think I've. I've offended Will quite a lot. You know, I mean, I've offended him, quite often about the questions I've asked him. 
Well, possibly so. So? But I think you don't, you don't have to ask offensive questions. You just need to get your facts straight. Well, my facts are straight. No, last <laughs> week you were saying you didn't have any new songs. <laughs> and I've played you two so far. Look, John, he's got, a C, he's got a CD coming out in February. And um, what's it called? I can't remember. Wonderful Crazy Night? Right, well, possibly. So how much... Po- wonderful Crazy... How, 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 I'm but, sure that's got something to do much, with it. How much is that going to be in in stores like HMV? Five pounds? <laughs> no, no, it won't. It'll be more than that. Well, I, I, I'll expect to get it for five pounds, maybe less. Um, well, I'll you sh- might have to wait. I shan't be paying the full price for it. Um, well, we might have to wait... <laughs> I do. You see, this is the sort of thing, Elton. If you are listening, uh-huh. you're very welcome here, but we won't be buying your CD until it's remanded. Um, that's, that's basically what we're saying, um, isn't it? Um, I just think Elton John is only bothering with Exeter because it's because he's coming up to his last no, last. No. I, I think you're just repeating yourself. No, it isn't. Look, we, we, we haven't got much time left. It isn't. Look, you can... People look, like Elton just, John just be... only bother coming to Exeter because they haven't got anywhere else to go and they think, I'm near the, I'm near the end of my career, so I'll bother, I'll bother visiting Devon. Did he want to know about Devon when he was younger? No. And the reason why he didn't want to know about Devon when he was younger is because he thought, oh, I'm not going to go there because I'm not probably going to make money. You know? Well, but now he's near the end of his career. Yes, it's worth coming to well, Devon because he's probably got an audience here. <laughs> Oh well. Anyway, that's your opinion, John. I believe I'm my facts. I believe my facts are cor- are politically correct. So <laughs> so uh, anyway, Elton John, if you, if you want to, if you want me to interview you, you're more than welcome. But be, be prepared for some offensive questioning. <laughs>